We're not perfect at it, but we know what's to be done. We're moving more in that direction. Um, but we still have some gasoline engines, but we don't yeah. make that much use of them. A big proponent of healthy food and mm -hmm. not wanting the chemicals in my food and everything mm -hmm. like that so that's why we have the hoop houses we have the garden i have a garden in town i can i freeze i do mm -hmm. oh. and <laughs> mm. so right now mom is actually cooking something with the steer that they raised mm. with, with some can oh solar with some did they see oh that's a solar oven package. yeah so, so you come up you you can smell, but don't taste. That's my dish. <laughs> it's kind of like a slow cook. So how long, like, to um, cook a steer? You know what's really nice about it? As I cooked for an elderly couple one summer, and they wanted traditional pork and turkey and all that for hot yeah. dinners, and it was summer, and I'm like, I am not cooking this. <laughs> yeah. The, the solar oven keeps things really moist. So I didn't run into the problem of dried out meat. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It cooks it a little slower, but um, I like to make like That's a gumbo good. or chili. Roy did, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. But you can go over and smell it, and if you have time, you can take a peek in the hoop house. Mm. There are solar ovens that will serve 500 people. They're huge. Oh. They're the energy, and they're moving those into small village areas. They're homemade or they're bought? Many of them are bought. Bought, but you okay. Can make you can them. make them. Yeah. They're not complicated. No, you can make them too. And I think bread in this. Oh. There's just one trick. Start early. Because I yeah. Think it, and it was a little late in the afternoon. And yeah, I'll like, take I time. I over my neighbor's yard trying to get sun. And it just kept oh. growing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can you overcook it? No, anything. No. It's really hard to overcook. It's hard to overcook. Yeah. So it's good. It's yeah. good then. Um, and people find they have to balance out the moisture content and cookies and cakes and stuff. Yeah. It's, oh. It works really well. I'm really pleased with it. I've got to tell her how to do it. Yeah, wow. And you know that's the best sun, uh, best place to catch the sun. Oh, uh, well, we just set it there. Oh, just set it there, okay. Because it was convenient. Yeah, okay. We have to uh, move it periodically. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow. And that's meant for the U.S. or anywhere in the world? Anywhere in the world. It's uh, wow. nice to send it to different countries. Yeah. Wow. Wow. My goodness. Will it bubble up and boil now? Boil a little. Yeah. Oh. Right now it's the sun shifted and so it's under 250 right now, but I've cooked a lot of different things. Wow. It smells wonderful. My favorite is like just smell, don't taste. <laughs> the gumbo will cook well, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh, you have the thermometer to control the degree of the heat? That just tells me how hot it is. And it tells me like I have to adjust up or down. The oh. best adjustment is when you look at it straight on, you yeah. find it. Oh, okay. That's so the best. That means you get the most direct sun, sun. into there. But, um, I'm at a guy who made a giant solar canner yeah. with this Blast. dinner for the you know, mirrors. And I'm like, I'm not sure I'd want to move something that big. Yeah. This is stainless steel or? This is just you know, aluminum. Aluminum. Oh. Like you can make little ones. Shiny. Yeah. Yeah. What the if, inside's yeah. black and it's insulated, so it collects the heat. Collects heat, it, yeah. Like I told people, when you get here, it does, it's really very warm. Yeah. And yeah, it smells so good. Can we cheat by using aluminum foil instead of... <laughs> yeah? Hot. Not so hot. It won't get it really hot. That's what they do with the kids for the camp program. Yeah, oh, okay. Where they do a hot dog and the kids are going, it's not brownie. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really brown in this. That's what we got to learn. Yeah. And uh, you can use cardboard to make the... And there's nothing you know, with, with the aluminum. With the aluminum. Oh, okay. Takes a little longer, though, for yeah. cooking. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, you you want to have, this will get to the right temperature. During the summer, it can get really hot. Uh, the only problem with using it in the winter is that there's not that much sunlight. Yeah, there, yeah, so yeah. you've got to cook things that don't, you don't want simmering as long. Yeah. yeah. So what are good for winter cooking? Know, winter cooking, um... We don't have well, enough you sun. Know what? I've been using, we have a wood burner in the living room, and I've been using the top of that to actually cook on. Because uh, I, I, I want to see, because I yeah. want a wood stove. And so that works. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not. I haven't figured out how I need a design for bread. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have cooked things and brought it over here. I did an experiment. I did toast. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> and you're like, okay. Try it. It's great, yeah. yeah. But if you want to see my spinach, it's doing really nicely. It's really? Oh, you have another nice solar oven, oven there? No, we have no? Oh, it's a, oh, this is a this is a solar oven too. This is a solar oven, yeah. This is it's a different kind. A different kind. Yeah. This wow. Is actually in the shade, which shows you you have to keep moving them. Yeah. Oh yeah. This house is a more primitive form of a greenhouse. That one. Oh, okay. Really well, and it gets like right now we have it had it vented because it gets yeah. too hot in there. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Huh. But I was able to grow carrots and beets and lettuce and spinach and kale and all that. Wow. What's cooking here? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. This is just another one. Oh.